In this short piece, we are going to work on freeing up our hand. First of all, you have to read the music. Don't try to learn this from the my hands. Buy the score and then read the music, re learn the fingering. There's a lot more in there than you think. But here's just a few little tips to help you uh, learn this piece. Is the most important thing is having a really free hand moving from chord to chord, like you are walking in space. Um, that's number one thing. And then right here at the end of the piece, we have a series of chords. And the easiest way to play it, look at the bottom note. So your pinky and your thumb in the uh, right hand. Another thing that's going to really make this stand out is if you pay attention to all the dynamics. This piece is packed with them and it's really going to bring out the beautiful music in this. Also, I would like to say that you should always work on these pieces with your teacher. Because these are some of the tips, but you really have to have somebody look over your shape, look over your form. But the biggest thing in this piece is to have a beautiful free hand, never tensing up. 